despite a strong year for returns. Stocks were a roller coaster ride of risk last year, with the NASDAQ falling into correction territory more than four times over the year. After straight up stock prices for almost a year, that return of volatility is always a bad sign and it could signal a deeper market crash isn't far behind. In this video, I'll show you why those stock sell-offs are about to get worse in 2022 and how to protect yourself before a market crash. I'll then reveal five safety investments to make and why the traditional go-to investment for safety could actually lose your money. Before we get started though, you know I've got to send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, we usually think of a stock crash as something that happens suddenly with no warning, but the fact is that the market usually buckles before it breaks. Stocks in the S&P 500 peaked in October of 2007, almost a year before the Lehman moment that destroyed the market. In fact, the return of risk and volatility had driven stocks down 20% before the worst of the crash, warning investors of what was to come. And that chart of last year's market is looking eerily like a repeat. With the Fed pulling back on stimulus and raising rates, the caffeine rush that's driven the market for two years could be in danger. I wanna get into our list of five safe investments to protect your money, but stick around because later, I'm gonna show you what to look for before a crash and why one of the old school ways of protection might not work this year. I'm partnering with VinoVest for today's video, a platform that opens up wine investing to everyone. Investing in wine is one of my favorite alternative investments, a safety investment that can lower your risk and still produce those double digit returns. You can invest as little as $1,000 and get started in minutes. And wine has outperformed the return on stocks with a 13.6% annualized return over the past 15 years. For beginners, you can get your investments picked for you through the platform's starter program with a guaranteed authenticated wines in excellent condition. Higher level plans include lower fees, access to rare wines, and a portfolio review with an expert. Expert sommeliers choose the wines to highlight on the platform for their investment value. And because of its size, VinoVest is able to get access and discounts to fine wines that even the 1% can't get. All your wine is stored in completely insured wine cellars to keep it in perfect condition. You can sell your wine at any time and even have it sent to you to enjoy. Our first safe investment here is gonna be in bank stocks. And while these were some of the hardest hit in that 2008 crash, they should do much better in 2022. The reason here goes to one of the ways to protect your money that I'll talk about later, investing in the stocks that are gonna benefit from what's hurting other stocks. Now, in this case, we're talking about higher interest rates and we've already seen how those higher rates have hit tech stocks this year. This is because not only do higher rates slow down the economy as a cost to borrow, but the growth stocks that have driven the market are even more vulnerable because, because of how stocks are valued on future cash flows. But here's where bank stocks come in because instead of being hurt by higher interest rates, banks could see the profits surge as those borrowing costs increase. Now remember that banks make their money by paying you interest on your savings, a miserable 0.06% rate right now, and, and then loaning that money out on those long-term mortgages. As those long-term rates increase, the banks are going to make more money and investors will see it in those higher stock prices and dividends. In fact, stocks in the Spider S&P Bank ETF, ticker KBE, were some of the best performers on higher rates last year, rising 27% on top of the 2.2% dividend. Next on our list of ways to protect your money is with alternative investments. And this is something we highlighted in a video a few weeks ago. Research by Baird Financial found that investing just 20% of your portfolio in investments outside of stocks and bonds actually lowered your risk. The blue bars here are the traditional stock bond portfolio with the alternative portfolio lowering your risk in every time period. Even better though was that adding those alternative investments not only decreased your risk, but also increased the returns in those long-term portfolios as well. I highlighted five alternative investments in that video and I'll link to that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But my favorite from the list was wine investing. The price of fine wines has beaten stocks with an annualized 13% over the last 20 years and you get so much more than just that price return. I mean, I love stocks, but you can't drink a share of Disney. And from learning about different regions where that wine is grown or even down to the best years for each, this goes way beyond that investment return. And of course, the downside to alternative investments a lot of times is the cost. For these types of real assets, you're gonna have to insure the investment and store it, which, which is why I like investing on platforms like VinoVest. Now you will pay a higher fee compared to stocks from two and a quarter percent for wine investing, but, but you get guaranteed authentic wines, the insurance and the professional storage you need, and you won't need to convert your kid's room to a wine cellar. We've still got three more safe investments to highlight, but I wanna show you what to look for in these, how to find these investments. 
All you out there in the Bowtie Nation know, you know I'm not about to just drop some stock picks in your lap. I want you to know why I'm recommending these so you can make your own decisions. And the first thing to look for when investing before a crash or a stock sell-off is for the investments that don't rise and fall exactly with stocks. Now, the nerdy way to say this is with correlation, the measure of how closely an investment's returns tend to rise and fall along with stocks, but you can think of these as your sleep at night investments. The correlation ranges from a negative one to a positive one, with the closer you get to one, meaning the closer the two investments are gonna move together. For example, in this graph from JP Morgan, you can see that US real estate has a 0.1 correlation with global stocks. So the returns between stocks and real estate don't really move together very much and real estate investing can be a good way to smooth out those stock market crashes. On the other hand, something like an equity long short hedge fund, which has a 1.0 correlation, is going to rise and fall very closely with stocks. Now, that's probably way more technical than you want to get. And really, most of the time, you can just compare the returns on an investment with the stock market to see, see if it crashes when stocks do. Second here, before we get back to our list of safe investments, is to look for the stocks or the other investments that are going to benefit from the forces weighing on the market. And this is what we talked about in those bank stocks, because higher interest rates are likely to be one of the biggest sources of risk to the market in 2022, you want an investment that is going to benefit as others fall. Now, some other risks to watch for in 2022 include inflation, how higher price is going to go, and is that going to affect corporate profits? For inflation, you want to think investments in real assets like real estate, art, and fine wine, things that have that physical substance that can hold their value. Another risk here would be if the COVID virus mutated to be vaccine resistant. So maybe you'd want an investments in here in drug makers or, or vaccine distribution that would benefit from the need for a new vaccine. Now back to our list though, and the next here is gonna be those traditional safety sector stocks, the consumer staples and the utilities. The stocks in these sectors are typically safer because the companies sell things you need to buy whether the market crumbles or not. You need food and you need electricity a lot more than you need that new iPhone and cash flows are more reliable for these companies. For example, in the crash of 2008, stocks in the consumer staple select sector spider, that's ticker XLP, fell just 26% from the peak, protecting investors from a 48% crash in the broader market. Even though the utility select sector ETF ticker XLU fell more, it still would have protected you from 10% of the drop in stocks. Not only do the stocks in these sectors tend to fall less, but they pay a higher dividend as well. The consumer staple sector ETF pays a 2.5% dividend, while the utilities ETF pays 2.9%, more than twice the dividend you'll, you get on the broader market. You can invest across all the stocks in the sector with an ETF, or you can just go to a funds page or right here on Yahoo Finance, click on holdings, and see the top stocks held to buy individual companies. Two more safe investments to show you, but I also wanted to warn you on what many think is a safe investment. In fact, the traditional safety bet when stocks fall. Bonds have long been the go-to investment in a market crash and have usually worked. The bonds in the Vanguard long-term bond ETF fell just 3.2% when stocks crashed in 2008 and actually made money when you consider that dividend yield. But that safety may be breaking down since last year. The red line is again this long-term bond ETF against the stock market in green. When stocks faced that first big sell-off in February of last year, bonds plunged by more than 8% and sold off again when stocks crashed in September. And the reason here is because both stocks and bonds are getting crushed as those interest rates rise. An increase in rates in the first three months of last year sent both spiraling and again in the pop in rates in September. And because most bonds pay a fixed payment and interest rate, as rates increase, then other investments and those newer bonds look more attractive. To compete, older bonds with those lower rates have to decrease in price to find their buyers. And this is why we have that time-tested rule. As rates increase, bond prices fall. And with higher interest rates, one of the biggest risks of the market this year, that could mean bonds are not the place you wanna hide for protection. We saw earlier how real estate is one of the best investments for smoothing out that stock market risk because of its low correlation with stocks. Not only do real estate prices not follow the stock market perfectly, so, so you get that smoothing effect, but property returns have been just as good or better than stocks. This chart from Uptown Property Management shows select real estate prices in the UK and US versus stocks for two decades to 2019. Even with the 2008 real estate crash, property has beaten stocks in that period. And that's just the returns on a direct investment, those real estate rentals. With real estate, you've got several other ways to invest, including Airbnb, house hacking, or just investing in real estate stocks through REITs. Now, the reason real estate does so well when stocks crash goes back to what we talked about before, how to invest when the market weakens. One of the key hurdles to stocks this year and in the past has been inflation, 
whether higher prices would eat into those corporate profits. Well, as a real asset, property keeps its value against inflation. The value of the dollar may decrease because of that inflation, but that doesn't mean your house is worth any less. The price of real estate goes up during inflation because it's worth just as much, but the purchasing power of the dollar has fallen. Next is another investment we've talked before about on the channel, earning interest on stablecoins. And I know a lot of you might not be comfortable yet with that whole cryptocurrency idea, but, but stablecoins are backed by dollar assets, so the price stays at a consistent $1 each. For example, the USD coin or USDC is a stablecoin backed dollar for dollar in a vault account. Because of the speed and low transaction costs, stablecoins are being used in international money transfers, to manage contracts, and even in arbitrage trading. Now, all this has created huge demand for the stablecoin lending, and the cryptocurrency platforms are able to offer interest rates on your deposits, sometimes as much as 100 times more than what you earn on a bank savings account. You can earn interest up to 9% on some of these platforms, and it's not dependent on what stocks do or, or any other investment. Check out VinoVest with the link below, or click on the video to the right for the alternative investments that can lower your risk without sacrificing returns. Five investment ideas for safety and profits. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.